What is going on? Like Dan Unfiltered checking out Inter Shikari and Twerpin? I have no idea what that is. I don't think it's a word. <laughs> I don't think it's an English word. Maybe it's a place. Maybe they just made it up. Maybe it's an acronym. But then they, you'd think it would be in all caps. No idea. But let's check this out. Hit like, subscribe, enter Shikari. <laughs> See, drastic sound change from a uh, gap in the fence. And judging by the, uh, the little thumbnail thing here, it's clearly off the same album. You just never know. Especially when it's the same album, that's wild. What? All will be revealed if we travel back in time. Normally you'd think everything would be revealed if you go in the future, because you can see the answers. Well, let's see. Right? Keyboardist doing the absolute most in that little uh, section there. The most. What a change. In just overall vibe, feel, sound, then like a, a jarring one. Just only I just heard "Gap in the Fence" like a, a minute ago, and they're on the same album. I assume they're multiple songs apart because that putting them right next to each other is a, like alarming. Like it's a it's a punch right in the neck. Like, what a difference in sound and tone. Everything. 
And even this song, again, it jumped around genres multiple times. Multiple times. It's a fun little song. A nice little faster paced type of song at the first half. And then we... It kind of does sound like we did travel in time. like Or forward, but since he said in the past. But they, they do have like a kind of a atmospheric type of sound going on. So it did sound time travelish. And then we, when it came back, it came back kind of abruptly. I would have preferred it like a, a slower, especially when the song's only 3 minutes, 14 seconds. You have time to play with. You, have, you can add like 40 more seconds on the song to give us like a slower build back to when things get uh, hectic again. But a decent little song. Now, Gap of Fence blows it out of the water, but decent little song, a fun little song. Hit like. In Shikari. Very digestible. I think that's, I think that's my, my favorite thing about him. Very digestible. Like nothing, nothing offends you. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you hear it and go, oh, that's that's tough. No, digestible. Still don't know what the hell Antwerpen is, and the song didn't really help me. Bands and these fucking names, man. <laughs>